Okay, so good morning, everyone. My name is Nora Milstianti, and my group and me will present our Theres McNally's and Risk Model Analysis. Next page, please. And here is our group's member, which is consists of Dara Ayu, Laura Putri Sindangsari, Najla Faiko Rahmani, Anita Hana Amira, Muhammad Hamka Syahril, and then myself, Nora Milstianti. Next, please. Okay, in this page, we will present our question, and this will be presented by Hamka. Here is the question that can be discussed. That Arthur says, I won't say he was like son to me, but how is this supposed to be compliment to Andre and comfort to his mother? Next. Uh, this is the answer that we have discussed. The sentence I, would, I won't say he was like a son to me means that Arthur didn't consider Andre as his son. Even when his son, Carl, sometimes isn't like a son that he expected. Carl is still his son after all. Moreover, Andre had already done many positive things even though he was gay, such as helping Arthur to get to know more about his son. By this, Arthur tried to praise Andre's kindness and comfort his mother, since his mother still feels the grief of her loss and still isn't able to accept that his son is gay. How come we got this answer? Uh, there are other explanations that can support our answer that are going to be explained by my friends. Next. So where do we find that Andre had done many good things? Uh, in the next sentence that Arthur uttered, we can see that Andre was such a helpful person for Arthur and his family, and he was always there for him. This proven by the paragraph below, Andre was like a son to me. I mean, in my clumsy way, I'm trying to say how much I like Andre and how much he helped me to know my own boy. Carl was always two hands full, but Andre had, and I could talk about anything on that side. My wife was very fond of him too. Uh, but um, Andre and I could talk about anything under the sun, mean that everything, talk about everything that exists or is possible. This also referred that Andre and Archer are very close so that they can talk about anything for hours. Uh, next. Okay, I'm going to explain about where do we find that Carl and Andre are gay. So we can see from the last dialogue when Paul starts talking about Andre and himself. So Paul said that both of them live in a mortal terror where they don't want to hurt their mothers and the disapproval for their relationship. Paul also um Paul, Paul also said that he often felt ill just by thinking about it. Next. And of course, in addition, that before that, the penny has uh, specifically mentioned at the first, which uh, Andre was gay, and after that, she lets go of her white with the white balloon. Uh, for example, like we, we see the text when Penny said, "And you love my sense of humor," and then listen, you can hear him laughing. Like, she lets go of her with a white balloon so long. You're so glorious, wonderful. I know what Carl means about words. Man, God forgive me for wishing that you were straight every time I laid eyes on you. But if any man was going to have you, I'm glad it was my brother. Look how fast it went up. I bet that means something like something terrifying. And then next. And next, we're moving on to Andre's mother's sadness and disapproval of his son's sex orientation. So how do we know about Andre's mother's disapproval here is because it is mentioned by Carl in his dialogue before he let go of his balloon. Carl told Andre's mother that Andre was so afraid of hurting her. 
you can see on the picture provided here, it calls say that she was your mother. She won't mind, but he was so afraid of hurting you and your disapproval. I don't know which was worse. Besides, you could see that the silence of her expression here showed that she couldn't accept his son's preference. Next. Okay, that's all for from our group analysis. Thank you. Thank you very much for your attention and have a good day.